I'm Joan Epler. Welcome to Good Thoughts Podcast. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, who discovered the Eplerian life philosophy for a new way of life. Today, we're going to apply this philosophy for developing a global civilization of kindness. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. Know where you're thinking from moment by moment. Be human by thinking from your heart with kindness and think from the mind with creativity to help others. What do you mean, be human? Think like a human from your heart with kindness and the mind to help others. Don't think like a non-human from the primitive brain with anger and stress. What is the difference between primitive brain thinking and human thinking? Primitive brain thinking is about yourself. Human thinking is about everyone else. Can you give an example of primitive brain thinking? Look around. Primitive brain thinking is everywhere. I was recently enjoying a beautiful morning drive. The traffic was moving slowly, and suddenly a car rushed up behind me, tailgating. This is an aggressive, primitive brain behavior. I looked in the mirror. The driver was scowling with stress and anger. This is self-centered, primitive brain thinking. Then there is a cell phone in the left hand. This is dangerous, primitive brain behavior that can cause a life-threatening accident. This is self-centered, thinking from the primitive brain and not human thinking about other people. What do you mean, the primitive brain? The brain starts out as a pot of cells and develops into the primitive brain, which is needed during infancy for instinctive survival. The brain continues to develop for 25 years, ending in the advanced human prefrontal lobe. That primitive brain remains active. It's for instinctive, life-saving reactions. But after infancy, thinking from this primitive brain with self-centered thoughts causes stress. This is a built-in warning system to stop thinking about yourself from the primitive brain. Thinking from the primitive brain causes anger and stress. Do you have any additional primitive brain thinking and behaviors? I have an endless list such as thinking about your problems, negative thoughts about yourself and angry at yourself, and complaining, criticize, blame, and manipulation. These include comparing yourself to others, trying to be someone else, or your job title, jealousy, retaliation, and revenge, and worry and guilt, and trying to control people or seeking power. All of these are primitive brain thinking, and they include negative thoughts about the past or the future, making decisions based on emotions, avoiding responsibility, fear of failure, undisciplined pessimism, and egocentric thinking. People having the cell phone in the hand is one of the worst primitive brain behaviors today. They're not engaged in a positive way with people. Their face is emotionless, and they have no kindness in their heart. Do you have others? Here are several more primitive brain behaviors by categories. Nutrition. Eating foods with added sugar and added salt and processed foods. Sleep. Not getting eight hours of sleep. Taking sleeping pills and looking at lighted screens before sleeping. Exercise. Having that cell phone in hand while working out. Poor form and poor posture. Driving. Self-centered, impatient driving. Non-emergency honking and, of course, tailgating. Talking. Negative social communication with criticism. It hurts. No one-ups, put-downs, or destructive comments with family friends, co-workers, neighbors, and in public. How can we stop primitive brain thinking? Break the primitive brain thinking habit. 
Understand the negative consequences of primitive brain thinking. Recognize it and stop. What are the detailed steps to stop thinking from the primitive brain? First, learn and understand that thinking about yourself from the primitive brain causes stress. Second, keep your primitive brain thinking to less than 10 seconds with one or more of these techniques. One, six to eight second technique by feeling the anger or stress without thinking. Let it peak and it will pass. The self technique, which is to recognize when you're thinking from the stress center and stop. Number three, neural bypass technique, which is repeating love and peace, love and peace, love and peace to yourself for 30 seconds. Think from the heart by being kind to yourself or someone else. Give something to someone or help someone. Think from the mind by thinking about your project or upcoming positive experience. Trigger the parasympathetic calming system by using belly breaths, drinking water, going for a 12-minute walk, or yoga breathing techniques. Number seven, trigger endorphins by prolonged running or exercise, or do that 10-second freezing cold water on your face shower technique. Number eight, distraction by listening to upbeat music, a festive meal, laughing out loud, or a positive social interaction with people. What's the third step? The ultimate goal is to eliminate primitive brain thinking. Primitive brain thinking can be totally and forever eliminated from your life by not activating the primitive brain. Don't let negative thoughts or actions trigger the primitive brain. This can be accomplished with practice and practice and practice, plus discipline and persistence by using the mind with courage and attention. Let's talk about human behaviors. What are they? Think from the heart, the gut, the body, and the mind. Human behaviors from the heart include kindness to yourself and others, giving without expecting anything in return, Unconditional love, gratitude, appreciation, forgiving, and empathy. Sadness is from the heart because someone or something you love has been lost. What about the belly brain? Human behaviors from the gut include choosing and eating healthy foods. The gut feeling of fear keeps us healthy. It's a human behavior, keeping us safe and preventing us from doing a physical activity or social activity that has excessive risk. What about human behavior from the body? Human behaviors from the body include the good feeling from exercising, all the muscle groups. Human behavior can use the mind to combine with the body to perform extraordinary athletic feats. Human behavior from the body enables a healthy, positive posture. What are human behaviors from the mind? Human behaviors from the mind include creativity to solve problems and help others, innovation to develop new products and services, courage, attention, discipline, persistence, inspiration, awe, total calmness, feeling of not needing to do anything, acceptance, belonging, joy, and bliss. What does primitive thinking have to do with close personal relationships? Primitive thinking destroys close personal relationships. People need two or three close relationships to live a long, healthy life. These relationships last for years and years because both individuals only think about the other person with no thoughts about themselves. If one of them develops primitive thinking, then the relationship becomes torn and splits apart. For example, one begins to complain or criticize. This is unpleasant for the other person, or the other person also starts to criticize. Those pleasing requests and suggestions early on turn into commands. No one likes commands. These primitive behaviors are subtle at first, 
but they become a habit. They become intolerable. In the marriage, this becomes a business contract with no love. With a friend, this becomes a cold friendship. In a close personal relationship, always think from the heart with kindness for the other person and no thoughts about yourself. Do the same thing at work and in public. There is no place for primitive brain thinking. Think from your heart with kindness and giving. Do you have any closing comments? Eliminate primitive brain thinking and behavior. Think from the heart with kindness and from the mind, with creativity to solve problems and help others. Here's what I would like to have you do. Look around and observe primitive brain behavior. Don't say anything, but you stop doing this behavior. Or you can feel good about yourself because you don't do this primitive brain behavior. If everyone stops primitive brain thinking, then we will live an extraordinary life in a global civilization of kindness. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing this Good Thoughts podcast. Best wishes for good health and a great day.